I love tennis. It's a great sport. Spring beckons with warm weather and blue skies. For some recreationists, that means hitting a lake on a pristine meadow or an open trail overlooking an impressive basin. That's not for everyone, however, and on a brisk May afternoon, this is the site that gets sportsmen to put down that remote and pick up a racket instead. Tennis is, number one, it's fun. It's something that can be a family activity. It's also a physically active activity. It's, it's good for your health. Um, it gets you involved and off the couch. During the month of May, we are hosting tennis block parties across the Wasatch Front to try and introduce the sport of tennis to existing and to new players. I haven't been playing since, gosh, about 12 years, and it got me back out here on the court. So. It is a community, family-oriented activity, and we initiate these tennis block parties throughout the various cities and states throughout the United States. National Tennis Month, initiated in 1998 by the United States Tennis Association, started out as a way for lovers of the sport to share their passion with neighbors and friends. Now, 11 years later, that is still the focus, but the scale and scope has grown with each passing year. These block parties, gatherings of professional players as well as novices, have sprung up in practically every city in the country. Las Vegas, Phoenix, Salt Lake, Denver, and throughout the West, courts are filled to capacity, with recreationists choosing to stay close to home for a bit of fun instead of taking longer, more expensive cross-country trips or exotic cruises. And though they aren't heading off into the sunset to some tropical locale, that doesn't mean that they are having any less fun. At the tennis block parties, we offer some group lessons where individuals can come of all ages and abilities, and they can participate in a a uh, group lesson that is taught by a certified instructor. We also have some on-court games. We have prize courts. We have off-court activities. We have some food and beverages. There's music. You know, we try to make it kind of a fun, interactive um, activity for everyone. When I saw that there were going to be some professionals out here and giving lessons, I thought, yes! So we headed out here. My husband's just getting into it since we got married, and so he's excited about it too. And there are tons of people out here, kids and adults and teenagers. It's exciting. On our court today, we have the games for the kids. We have the quick start uh, tennis equipment where the kids use foam balls. We also have the drills for the teenagers and for the adults as well. Tennis month will continue through the month of May and is free to the public. All ages and skill levels are welcome to find the closest block party and grab a racket. The lakes and trails will continue to call to recreationists at this time of the year. But between rides or a ski outing with the family, a good game of tennis may be just what the summer orders. These block parties are not just exclusively designed for May. Organizations can actually have these block parties in their communities throughout the year. All of them are from 11 to 2, so it's about three hours, and they are free to the public, and everyone's invited to come out. Tons of fun, and they've got excellent people out here running it, working it. You should get a racket and come out here and get some balls. On the trailhead next to the tennis court,